W block is a very useful command again for content reuse. If you want to work quickly and fast, it's a brilliant command for that too. As usual, we have a drawing set up for you. So there's O3, right block, W block complete. You'll be looking for right block, W block dot DWG. We're still using the same chairs and table as per the previous video. Now what I'm going to do is right block the chair block. And what I'm going to do there is then make changes to that W block that I've created and then bring it back into the drawing. Now, if you've got, let's say, 700 chairs all using this particular block reference and you want to make a change to all of them, all you've got to do is make a change to the block reference itself. You can do that using the right block command. So let's do that now. The quickest way to the right block command is to actually type W block, like so. Press enter. That will bring up the right block dialog box. I can go to block here, select my block from my drawing. That way, base point, objects, and everything is grayed out. I don't need to think about it. But we do need to specify where that chair is going. Now, what we're doing here is we're actually writing the block to a separate DWG file. So I need to pick the location of that. So as you can see there, it's taken me to a folder where I might not want them to go. So I go to the folder where I need it to go, which is content reuse and drawings. I'm going to save it in there as just chair.dwg and click on save. So that's there. That path is there. Millimeters is the unit. So I click on OK. See that little flash top left corner? That's AutoCAD writing that block to a separate DWG file. Now, here's the trick. I go to open that drawing. There's my chair drawing there. I'll double click it and open it. And it opens up. Now, where's the chair? Sometimes it won't be there. You need to do a zoom extent to zoom to the extents of the objects. Now you'll see it's all the separate objects that originally made up the chair. Now I'm going to make one change to this and what I'm going to do is add a little sort of angled chamfer to each arm of each chair. So I'm going to do that by way of using the chamfer command here. So that's on the modify panel, chamfer. And I know that that distance from there to there is 125. So I'm going to right click and go distance and put 125 in, enter. Second chamfer distance, also 125. I'll just press enter to accept it. Select first line. So it's one, two, like that. Do the same the other side. Right click, repeat chamfer, and one, two, like that. Then I'm going to save my chair DWG file. Save it. Now, the good thing is in AutoCAD 2014, I can go here to the tabs, click there, and close that. Now, it hasn't made any changes just yet. But what I can do now is I can now insert that as a block into my drawing. So if I now go up here to the block panel and click on insert, there's the blocks already in the drawing. There's the block references. But I can go and browse now for that particular drawing file and bring it into the drawing as a block. So I go and find my content reuse folder into drawings. There's chair there. Double click on it. There's the path to the actual W block there. Insertion point, I'll just specify that on screen. Scale and rotation, I'll leave as is. Click on OK. As soon as I do that, AutoCAD thinks, oh, hang on a minute. You're bringing in a drawing as a block called chair. We've already got a block reference in the drawing called chair. So it's telling me there's already four instances of chair in the drawing. They're the ones around the table. I want to redefine that block. So I click, it redefines the four existing blocks around the table. There's my block there. Click and bring it into the drawing. Now, I've brought that in on the wrong layer. That's no problem. Just quickly change that to chairs like so and hit escape to deselect. I'll make sure that chairs now is my current layer. So any more chair blocks I bring in, they're on the right layer. But the thing is now, if I go and insert that block reference from the drawing and not from an external source, you'll see that it comes in with the new block reference with the angled arms on the chairs. So that's how you W block out a block from your drawing to a separate DWG file and then bring it back in. That's why it's always useful to use that W block command. If I'd had 700 chairs that I needed to change because the manufacturer had decided on a different model or had adapted the model that we were using for our design, I can update all of them just in that one hit like that. Again, smarter and faster.